You won't believe these strange borders exist. Globally, neighboring countries have different ways of marking territories, but these borders are bizarre, and you will not even believe they exist. Do you usually have these conversations with friends where you try to sound vast in affairs around the world? Well, at the end of this video, you will be able to speak with your friends like someone who has a degree in geography, because you will learn about some of the strangest borders in the world. You will find borders where you can sleep with your head in one country and your legs in a different one. Today, our world is bordered up by governments. Most of these borders make sense, but some are just hard to digest. There are borders with long queues, impatient immigration officers, and passport stamps set besides a traditional fence division between two countries. And there are other borders where the restrictions are not immediately apparent, and you won't know if you've left one country and entered another. Let's take a look at some of the world's strangest borders. There is more than one fascinating fact about this border. There are two rocky islands in the Bering Strait between Siberia and Alaska called Big Diomede and Small Diomede. Big Diomede is administered by Russia, while the United States administers Small Diomede. You can swim the 3.8 kilometers between islands, which means they are a stone's throw from each other. These two islands are where the Russian bear practically rubs noses with the American eagle, and where yesterday is just a stone's throw away. They are 21 hours apart as they both sit on either side of the international date line. If you travel between these islands, you could find yourself transported back in time or into the future, depending on which direction you want. Due to this strange fact, they have picked up the nicknames Tomorrow Island for Big Diomede and Yesterday Island for Little Diomede. In history, which border do you think has changed hands the most between the two countries? When talking about lands that changed hands and names, one major contender is Istanbul. Istanbul was formerly known as Constantinople and Byzantium. It has variously been under by the Greeks, Romans, Byzantine, and Ottoman Empire. However, this is nothing compared to a small island situated in the Bidasoa River between northern Spain and southern France. The tiny isle is a fraction of a square kilometer in size, but since 1659, it has passed between two countries more than 700 times. The passage between countries is not a result of a long-running battle between the countries, but an amicable agreement between the countries. It's legal and not as a result of war. France and Spain agreed to administer the border jointly, with ownership changing every six months. So if you find your place at this border in January and you are told it's in France, you could return in September and realize it's now in Spain. The most popular borders are the ones between two disputed regions. These borders are claimed by opposing states for geopolitical, cultural, and historical reasons. However, both states do not want a wall and land, continuing to shun it. Surprisingly, this border exists in Africa due to the strange stalemate between the countries. Bur Tawil is a roadless patch of desert that is 2,000 kilometers in size, but uninhabited and unwanted due to the claims of Egypt and Sudan. Both countries favor their historical boundary lines and believe it would weaken their respective claims to land if they accept Bur Tawil. This gives Bur Tawil a unique status in the world as both uninhabited and rejected by surrounding countries. Multiple organizations and individuals have tried to claim the land for their use, but they have gotten little to no support from the international community. When you are in Lech Valley in Austria and you wish to move to Youngholz Valley by road, it will undoubtedly be a hell of a ride. There are two ways of moving between these points. You either drive around or you put on your hiking boots. If you prefer hiking, you have to climb over Mount Sorgskrofen. When climbing, it's almost impossible not to stray accidentally across the border between Austria and Germany, because the Quadrio point comes to a precise pinch point, painted on a rock. Sounds strange? Well, there's more. Imagine the easiest way to travel from one point to another in your country is by using another country's roads. When you decide to travel by road between both valleys in Austria, you have to drive around Germany. Jungholz is in Austria, where it seems like a quiet agricultural community, but its herniated topography provides a loophole in German banking regulations, so private banks have registered offices there. Another similar border to the one previously mentioned is the Northwest Angle. A cartographic cock-up that misplaced the Mississippi's headwaters led to this bulge of Minnesota on the shore of the Lake of the Woods being stranded. This border is only reachable on land when you go through Canada, although it is in America. 
As a kid in this town, you will experience one of the most extended school runs anywhere in the world. It is the only piece of America apart from Alaska, which strays north of the 49th parallel, and it is mainly forested, with a population of around 100, primarily First Nations. It is a three-hour round trip that means going through border control four times a day. In 1659, the Treaty of Pyrenees was signed after the Thirty Year War where it ceded some sections of northern Spain to France. The treaty was said to apply to villages. A town called Livia managed to escape being given away because it was not a village, but a town. This means it kept its Spanish allegiance despite the treaty. Today, Livia is a 5 square mile, 1700 strong municipality officially part of the Catalan province of Girona and connected by two miles of neutral road to Pugserda. The strange fact about this town is that French towns surround it, but it still remains its Spanish roots. Today, residents of Livia need to drive 1.3 kilometers to reach mainland Spain. If you go to the border-hugging Geneva airport, you have different exit options depending on whether you want to enter France or Switzerland. The Hotel Arbez is about 5 miles to the north of that airport, but it takes the strange border squatting principle slightly differently. The hotel sits right on top of the line between France and Switzerland. The dining room and kitchen of the hotel are bisected. The strange fact about this border is that you could sleep with your head in one country and your feet in the other. In 1862, a local businessman got wind of a treaty modifying the border and created the building to straddle the new route before it was ratified. This border is worthy of mention not just because of its status as the shortest border, but how it got formed. The border is a Spanish-owned rock fortress that is only 85 meters long and located on the Mediterranean coast of Morocco. This border forms one of a half dozen properties claimed by Spain on or just offshore from Morocco, which is held apart from the mainland by a 90-yard international border. Until 1934, it was an island, but a potent storm filled in the gap with sand and turned the island into a peninsula. Today, Spain constantly has an army and a few helicopters in this small exclave to ensure that Morocco doesn't take over the place as the border is marked by a piece of string across the beach. Exclaves within exclaves. This is arguably the strangest European border, which started even before the existence of one of the countries. The Dutch side of the border contains 22 Belgian exclaves, legally part of Belgium, but enclosed entirely by Dutch land. However, the three other pieces of Belgian land span the border between the two countries. Six Dutch exclaves are within the most prominent Belgian exclave and another within the second largest exclave. This border is so strange that many houses and shops are split between the two countries. Residents wake up in one country and make their breakfast in another due to rooms falling on either side of the border. Due to tax reasons, some people even move their front door into the other country in the past to save money. Did you learn anything new from our little geography lesson on the world's strangest borders? Which border is the weirdest? Let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it.